Born on a crisp November day in 1969 in Harlem's vibrant streets, Combs would soon become a force in music and business. His journey from a Howard University intern to music royalty is nothing short of cinematic. Let's start at Uptown Records in New York, where Combs sunk his teeth into the industry, climbing from intern to vice president of AR, shaping the sounds of the 90s by nurturing talents like Jodeci and Mary J. However, after a surprising exit from Uptown, Combs didn't miss a beat, launching Bad Boy Entertainment in 1993. The label quickly became a powerhouse, kicking off with the success of Notorious Big's Ready to Die. Combs' golden touch extended to artists like Faith Evans and 112, and his production wizardry helped craft hits for Usher, Mariah Carey, and TLC, whose Crazy Sexy Cool became the decade's top R&B album. The East Coast-West Coast rivalry reached its peak, with Tupac Shakur and Suge Knight openly mocking Combs and Biggie, adding tension to the rap scene. 1997 was a pivotal year for Combs, now known as Puff Daddy, with the release of No Way Out. The album's heartfelt tribute, I'll Be Missing You, for Biggie, captured hearts worldwide. Despite its success, critics accused Combs of diluting hip-hop's essence. Controversy followed Combs into the late 90s, with legal troubles stemming from a nightclub shooting. Although acquitted, the incident prompted a name change to P. Combs's resilience shone through as he ventured into acting and continued his music career despite facing new legal challenges. His adaptability was evident as he embraced pop collaborations, signing Dream, and reviving Making the Band, proving his knack for discovering and shaping new talent. By 2005, another name tweak to Just Diddy reflected his ever-evolving persona. His business acumen led to selling bad boy records, further diversifying his portfolio into fashion, fragrance, film production, and fine dining, solidifying his status as a business titan. Sean Diddy Combs' journey from the streets of Harlem to the pinnacle of music and entrepreneurship exemplifies a relentless pursuit of greatness. His story isn't just about fame and fortune, it's a testament to resilience, innovation, and the power of reinvention.